Hello everybody and welcome back to my Country Sparkles channel. I am Rachel and today I am shredding potatoes for hash browns. I thought while I was doing that I would show you how my Bosch does it shredding potatoes. I have raw potatoes here to show you and also baked potatoes to show you shredded. The raw potatoes I'm going to shred them and then blanch them so I've got water boiling here in the background and an ice bath to put them in. This is my Bosch. It's very heavy, heavy duty, and it, I uh, bought this attachment separately. It is a shredding attachment. It has a lid that goes over it, and then a shredder wheel that goes in the middle. So all you do is you put that there, the lid on, and you click it. That's it. And then it has an on-off knob over here to the side. So I'm going to shred the raw potatoes first because my water is boiling and it is ready to go for them to be put in there and be blanched. So let's shred some potatoes. I also have a cutting board and a knife here because sometimes the potatoes are too big to fit in the hole. I'm just starting it at a number two and see how it does. I'm putting it in there because I don't want to feel them pretty much. Looking at it through the side here, it's shredding up really nicely. So let me show you a little trick I do. As it gets full, it'll fill up just like in one part, like that. And all I do to utilize the whole container is, after I'm done shredding it, it looks like it's filled up pretty good. I'll just move this over a notch and put it over the side. So now it'll fill up this part instead of this part of the bowl on the bottom. heavy duty potatoes and so the machine is very stout. I love it. It's very, I don't know, it cuts everything. I've shredded cheese in here before and it does amazing with cheese. And that is all my raw potatoes. You can see here that is all the waste that there is couple little potato skins there so not very much waste I love that and there is almost a full bowl bowl of potatoes and now I'm just gonna throw this into boiling water and blanch it for hash browns for the future I'll be right back now that I've got my Bosch all cleaned up, let's do the baked potatoes. I like to bake my potatoes and shred them to freeze for hash browns in the future and then I just pull out a bag of hash browns and I can thaw it in the morning and fry them up for delicious morning hash browns. So let's test out our baked potato and see how it does. I'm going to set this at two just like I did the raw potatoes. I think it's because it has so many shredder um, holes in it. It makes it fast. And I'm just putting one potato in at a time, a whole thing. I'm not skinning it or anything like that. It will collect the skins up there and shred them down below. This spot's a little full, so I'm just going to rotate this into another spot to fill up over here. If you fill up the spot too high on a Bosch, then it'll start like just mashing it down. And where these are baked, I don't want my shredded potatoes turned into mashed potatoes. So that's why I am rotating this to fill up one of the empty areas. fast since I'm taking this lid off I'm gonna clean out the skins Ooh, hopefully not throw them on the ground um, inside the bowl here I can see that it's still shredding really nice I'm gonna rotate this one more time over here to the back Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Those are all my potatoes I have out right now to shred. So here they are all shredded. They aren't as firm as I was expecting them. I must have overcooked the potatoes just a little bit, but because they're not all clumpy together, I'll still be able to put them into um, my Ziploc bags and they'll um, fry up into hash browns really nicely still. So the Bosch did a great job. There was a little bit of waste. It got a little bit gunky up in the lid here. Show you that, but that's easy to clean out. So I think I would um, on my next batch, I'll just clean it out a little bit more than I did, like clean the holes out so that way the skins will come out. My Bosch did a great job shredding the raw potatoes and the baked potatoes. Next time I'm going to bake the potatoes just a little bit less to um, keep them firm and make sure they don't get all rolly and stick to each other. But besides that, the machine itself did a great job. I'm very happy with the results. I'm just going to also remember to clean out the lid with baked potatoes a little bit better to make sure the skins aren't all stuck in the little shredding holes. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe down below. Feel free to leave any questions in the comment area and I will answer them as I can. And I hope to see you next time.